Yo, yo, what's up? Welcome to Black Talk Vi- Dog video? Black Dog? Ah, uh, dog with D-A. You feel like our- I Gotta move the car. <laughs> what? Hey, so this first episode of that show that we've made that has- We yet still to don't have a title. Proper, but here's the title here. Welcome to the show. Was that, uh, Looney Tunes? Yeah. We're here at Black Dog Video because we want to relive that nostalgic. So yeah, this is a nostalgic ritual of going to a video store and um, looking through movies, um, enjoying the aesthetics and the plot synopsis and, and discovering a, discovering a film and then committing to it. Yeah. And so we're gonna we're gonna be doing that. The whole process of streaming has sort of taken away that appreciation for fine filmmaking, you know? There's a, there's something about the the tactile involvement in holding a DVD and seeing yeah. like feeling the fruits of someone's labor and seeing it through to the end because nowadays it's so easy to just go oh you know what it didn't really capture my attention and flick to the next movie but when you grab something you pay harder money for it for that object you're holding and then you stick it in your DVD player you gotta watch it through to the end and then you gotta you know appreciate all the work that went into it and even if sometimes you get burned much like on the Check in the Gate podcast, we yes. want to we want to dig deep into like what what makes a movie work and what makes it does not work, what makes it not work. Mm -hmm. So let's get to it, shall let's we? Do it. As part of the process of renting a film, you you, you got to go to the movie store and sort of have an idea of what kind of a film you want to watch, right? Mm -hmm. Great selection in horror. You know, it has a better selection. Sci-fi. Sci <laughs> I gotta point this one out. Oh, I've seen this one. Uh, this is Scanners. Uh, this is the, the, I guess, a Criterion re-release. David Cronenberg, one of the most uh, influential, one of the most important Canadian filmmakers. It's Calling Card. Is that he was, well, Scanners, which one's that? It's the one where the guy's head explodes. In the most like gratuitous fountain of blood explosion you've ever seen. Um, I loved Scanners when I saw it. Mm -hmm. and it's just such a, a weird, heady sci-fi flick. But hey. I just, I just, yeah. heady. Ah, um, but um, but I just had to show everyone this cover art. It's hideous. <laughs> so hideous. Oh, Gorgo. This is basically King Kong with a lizard. Yeah. So if there was ever a King Kong and Godzilla hybrid, it's this one, Gorgo. Only it takes place in England. It's um, now New York, London. Uh, not everyone knows this about me, but I have a a very soft spot for giant monsters stomp, stomping through mm -hmm. the cities. I, lo I love those kind of movies. It's, it's kind of it's my thing. Goes gargantuan mama comes thundering ashore. Gargantuan mama. <laughs> yes, what it says. <laughs> Reclaiming her offspring, heading back to sea, but not before she trashes a generous portion of London. So right there, are some parallels with King yeah. Kong right off the bat. So there you go, Gorgo. Smother Space is a classic. If you haven't seen it, do it. Okay, I just had a thought. Yeah. This is a theory. Jared Leto mm -hmm. from Fight Club mm -hmm. is the Joker mm -hmm. from the new Suicide Squad. Basically, yeah. Uh, let's proceed. Spider Baby. That's not what I was expecting. No, actually, I, I was, I was kind of hoping for a spider. For a spider. With like a baby's head? Uh, but no, it's this just, is a really scary. old film. It's, it's, uh, if it's like on Long Chaney, you should ask me. There you go. This is important. The Beaver Trilogy. <laughs> oh, Sean Penn and Crispin Glover. Crispin Glover. Actually, yeah, this is this probably is much better than it sounds. <laughs> from 1975 to 1985, this is the first time the films have been available on DVD. So what's nice about Black Dog is that they, they actually give little notes from the actual, um, like from the people who work here. Yo. Yo. Shockwaves. Tell me that doesn't just appeal to your inner zombie loving. Wow, look, have you seen this? <laughs> oh, and not just zombies. Nazi, Nazi zombies. zombies. The best yeah. of the Nazi zombie movies. <laughs> that's that's how you know that this is a legit. Mm -hmm. 1976. Probably before all the big, all you know, all those mainstream Nazi zombie movies like. <laughs> yeah. Like um. I don't remember. I failed. You know? Dead Snow. <laughs> yeah. Dead Snow, great film. Great, a lot of fun. Tiff. 
If you were ever interested in the cover art, that's oddly red. Oh shit, this is the seldom seen sequel to the Rocky Horror Picture Show. The Garbage Pail Kids movie. <laughs> I don't really know that much about it, but it's... Um, what the... It's really freaky. Here, have a look. Here's the creatures that are in it. They are kind of terrifying. So, Toby Hooper made uh, a lot of really good, like, A-grade films. Like, of course, Poltergeist. Classic. We did a uh, check in the gate on that one. Yeah, we did. It was great. Um, Life Force. But, uh... Here's a lesser known one, Invaders from Mars. <laughs> Personally, this is the one I want to see the most. Just look at that, look at these creatures, this, this is beautiful. Lizard in a woman's skin? Oh! Are you ready? Whoa! Frost. No way! Today, the pond. Tomorrow, the world. That's a big, that's a toad, I think. A shocker reminiscent of Alfred Hitchcock's The Birds. Uh, jumping with action, suspense, revenge, southern gothic charm, frog stars Ray Millard, Sam Elliott. Oh, Sam Elliott? Sam Elliott? <laughs> and I'm down. Joan Van Ark are constantly a lily pad away from croaking. <laughs> Conan! People tell me supposed to be the complete quest. The green slime, Invaders from Beyond the Stars, from <laughs> you 19, 1968. Did Power Rangers the movie steal that from this? You lose. I can't believe I still remember that. Look, this is, I, I eat this. This whole cover right here, I eat this up. <laughs> it's a black and white movie. It's oh. called The Green Slime, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Use your imagination, kids, because this is in black and white. Yeah. Back before That's Technicolor. Why. They were originally called The Slime, <laughs> but then everyone who was watching the movie in the pre-screenings were like, what color is this slime? They're like, or they probably would have <laughs> colored it something that turned out well on camera. Is there um, like a, a classic example of like choosing a color that works really, really great on camera, but it actually doesn't look like blood in real life would be Psycho. Mm. Where they actually used chocolate sauce. Yeah. Did they? Yeah. There was chocolate sauce. Chocolate, chocolate sauce. Yeah. Down the drain. This is this is was this was always the toughest part of a, you could only write one movie. One movie and or one game. So you, got, you know, you'd always there'd always be too many choices. And every time I come in here there's too many choices. I'm like, ah, I don't well, know what to do. I was I was one of those kids that we rented movies on the uh, the weekend. You know, we, we would have to watch the movies on the weekend and then have them back before the end of Sunday. <clears throat> Green Slime, Frogs, or Gorgo? Is that what we're, we're choosing between? Yes. Okay. Three, two, one. Frogs. frogs. Yeah! Yeah! High five. Let's do it. <laughs> Alright, so we did it. We uh, rented Frogs. We did. And we're going to watch it today. And we're going to uh, we're gonna we're gonna give it the the fair the proper fair shake it mm -hmm. deserves. The journey is complete. Well, Chill. no, it's not going to be complete until we until we return. Uh, the, the 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 whole the return is part of the process. Mm -hmm. So, all right, cool. Let's do it. <laughs>